Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk of future trading. We strongly advise you to stay on a sim as long as needed uh, before you start going live. Uh, I want to start today with the scalper. Actually, I just lost uh, the YM chart and I reloaded the YM chart here, but most of them has hit the target today except the CL. On the scalper, it was a different story than uh, uh, the TI7. The TI7 did very well uh, on the scalper, but today, uh, as you see here, we have uh, uh, if we take the ES, we have the ES one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. They all hit uh, the five hundred dollars target. Uh, the Nasdaq one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, uh, five minutes. Also, all of them hit the target. The YM hit the target, but I just uh, lost the chart by accident, so I put a new one. Uh, the YM also hit the five minutes, uh, four minutes, three minutes. Um, here is uh, the million dollar question is um, how much I can get return uh, on um, on anything on any auto trade is all depend on the market movement and it is uh, very important when to start when to stop uh, the market like uh, as an example yesterday we were live on a YouTube and uh, we had perfect entries yesterday but the market was not moving and every time we took a trade it was going to our direction and then going back and close us out uh, nobody can predict the future um, uh, we we still need to uh, understand the risk in the future trading and we need to understand that uh, you cannot trade all day long uh, as an example uh, if we take the the three minute today uh, the three minutes uh, took uh, 1300 the nasdaq 1800 uh, the uh, the five minutes it took uh, 1500 the two minute took 1700 and the one minute took uh, six uh, all of them they are on five hundred dollars but when the market going to your direction is going to stay on that trade so uh, still you cannot avoid uh, uh try to understand um, um, when uh, the market is chop you need to uh, push the brakes uh, for five ten minutes and then uh, and then start uh, on those uh, scalpers they just run I don't uh, control it I don't um, stop it I don't start it uh, but uh, uh, what I can say they do a very good job if you start around uh, 10 o'clock or um, uh, if you start around 10 o'clock for the uh, for the, the US market and uh, you should be done by 11 12 o'clock now uh, if the market not willing to give us like as an example uh, has nothing to do with the auto trade uh, we just uh, have the CL five minutes and uh, CL three minutes and the two minutes hit the target and the four minutes and the one minute did not hit the target where most of it hit the target uh, that tells you it has nothing to do with the auto trade. This is the the misused uh, uh, words that um, uh, that uh, has nothing to do with the auto trade. Uh, really, it is how the market is moving uh, uh, to the prior to the algorithm you are using, and um, and I think a trader should uh, he should not. Uh, tweak uh, the scalpers because they are very friendly use you just put them on 10 15 ticks a stop loss actually all of them here they are on the same template all of them there is not uh, one is on a different template all of them market order 15 ticks a stop loss and this is it and uh, that uh, uh, takes a lot of load for uh, the beginners but does not mean we can get away free we still uh, we need to monitor any kind of auto trade when you start your auto trade around 10 o'clock. Uh, if you see this auto trade is stru struggling, skip it for today, like yesterday. Uh, today, 
I mean, it was uh, different. I was surprised the market moved, but um, uh, uh, so uh, you cannot uh, just keep trying in the market when the the, the certain instruments for today uh, has not um, uh, given money uh, to. Um, so you need to stop, and uh, then you uh, you trade the second day. What is things about those uh, here? Uh, you have a d daily target uh, 500 or 500 dollars losses you can change it to 200 you can change it to 1000 you can put the numbers you want on it and um, you can hit if let's say you're trying micro account um, uh, you cannot uh, put a micro account and daily target 500 uh, on a micro account when we're talking about 500 uh, on a normal uh, e-mini, uh, then on a micro account, you should not expect uh, on every chart to be no more than a 50 or a hundred dollar. But uh, you cannot uh, just put it on a thousand because I have a guy today. He have one thousand dollar. He want to trade in the in the future trade, and I just didn't want it. I skipped it, and he was expecting uh, on the one thousand dollar to. Uh, to trade the uh, uh, micro account and have a daily target 1000 so in the reality if you are trading e mini does mean your daily target is 10000 and that is impossible this is only in the dreamland it cannot be done uh, so uh, if you have a micro account because this is a very often a question if you have a micro account you have to understand here they are not micro account those are mini accounts so if we are setting our daily target here on a, a 500, that's mean your micro account should be set on $50 or $100 max. You cannot just keep uh, uh, expecting on a micro account to make 1000% uh, every day. This is impossible even by the best trader in the world. So the, the reality is uh, also, uh, uh, I, I strongly advise people not to overload on one instrument. In another word, uh, today we have a problem with the CL. I can recognize that immediately. Yesterday we had a beautiful run on the CL, and the scalpers uh, did hit uh, all the target yesterday within half an hour. Uh, I have a gentleman today within half an hour, he hit uh, 600 on the ES. It's not that. It's just... Uh, the smartest way, if you want to trade, you need to spread out uh, your uh, trades. It don't have to be on one instrument. We cannot say we don't trade NASDAQ or we don't trade ES or we don't trade uh, YM or Russell. Uh, if I was you, I will put uh, three, four horses in the race. And if one of them dies on us, then we have the other three horses might make it. So first things you cannot over merge yourself like this gentleman he have a thousand dollar he want to trade he has nasdaq down on cl you, you cannot do that because it takes you one day one bad day and you're out of the the game um, let's say if you have a couple thousand dollar on a micro account you can take two es two nasdaq uh, two ym two russell i will be conservative with the uh, with the cl you have to Probably if you use a higher time frame, like a five minutes or three minutes, uh, that can clean a little bit of uh, of the noises in the market. But if you use a micro account uh, and and uh, and then grow with it, in other words, don't go four contract and six contract or eight contracts on the ES uh, on the micro account. Now, if you have, let's say, $5,000, uh, you cannot just put five thousand dollar in the account uh, on the on the ground and 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 uh, play with it every day. I mean, uh, you cannot just risk the whole five thousand because you still need to have to have a reserved money. You cannot over merge yourself because things can go wrong in the market, and that uh, people waive uh, the danger in the market. And this is really, you should not waive the danger in the market. There is a risk. And you have to understand. I don't know. Uh, this is a very common question. I don't know if the ES uh, on um, 
or the Nasdaq on a four minutes tomorrow is going to make 1,800 or 300. I have no idea. Nobody knows. So the question is common question. Do you think if I trade the Nasdaq, I will nail 1,000 next week? I don't know. And I cannot tell you, even if I know, I will not tell you that. I don't know if it's, uh, it's all depends in the market. If uh, we cross in the 10 days moving average, the 50 days moving average, the 200 days moving average, then the whole momentum will change in the market. So I don't want to go through those t details. If you, uh, you have to understand the risk in the market before you trade anything in the market. It cannot be winning, winning, uh, because you're going to have some losing as well, especially for those guys ignore the market signal when you come in and when you see chop market in the market and uh, you just turn on uh, your auto trade and you ignore all the signals in the market telling you there is a chop or there is a flat market. Uh, that it is up to the trader, not everything on the auto trade is up to the trader to comprehend or hold his horse a little bit before he turn on his life account. Or he can, this is another simple matter, uh, when he get up at 8 o'clock, he can start on SIM and then, uh, because they are market order plus minus one tick slippage, um, then he can see it on a SIM for half an hour if he is not uh, trained enough, we're not expecting you to sit in a room for one year and uh, pay money to learn how to trade. We're not expecting that. But uh, I'm trying to find a solution for those beginners and not burn their fingers. And this is really hard uh, mission to do that. So um, for those guys, whether you are using our auto trade or somebody else, I'm talking in general. If you cannot read the market, uh, maybe it will be smart. Um, you turn on your um, any kind of or any type of an auto trade you are using for, let's say, from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, and uh, and then um, uh, if you see this market struggling on that auto trade you are using or you are using the scalper, uh, keep looking at those auto trade until you see. There is a trend, and now, uh, like um, as an example, yesterday, if you go to the other channel live, the ES and NASDAQ and Dow Jones, they were not moving. And the only thing yesterday was moving is uh, uh, the CL. Any trade you take on the CL, it was making money. Today, uh, on the scalper, was a struggling market on the CL, but on the NASDAQ was a flying and tomorrow could be the Russell is flying uh, or could be the ES is flying. We don't know that until we get up in the morning and turn on the charts and start looking at the technical sides of it. So uh, this is very important for the, uh, uh, I mean, we built that scalper for an amateur traders, but does not mean you go blind with it and you start using it like a fire holes, you know, all over the places. No. And um, especially for a guy yesterday, also he have a couple thousand dollars and he want to put it on the server and trade 24-7. And he's uh, uh, from out of the country, from out of the state. And and I looked at this guy, he was a disaster, which just scared me away. And then I pulled my hand off of him. Uh, you cannot just uh, rent a server and... Um, Turn on the auto trade, and now we're gonna get rich. It's a uh, does. It's a little bit odd when you, you when you hear that, and um, and uh, the server also uh, a lot of traders there are not aware of that. Uh, one of the uh, traders today uh, sent me because we have to approve the server before you can uh, put your license on that server. Some of the servers are blacklisted, and they've been running the server from. Um, a garage sale somewhere in Chicago and those we will not accept because on our previous uh, experience for the last <clears throat> uh, 13, 15 years now in the public, uh, we, we find out that uh, as some of those servers uh, that were uh, using uh, the customer's systems and they were snooping around their system. 
and we find out this by accidents and we blacklist those and I don't want to call any company so in order for you to put those scalpers on a server you need to be approved by us uh, before you go ahead and purchase a server and start going berserk 24 7 trading uh, one of those uh, customers today he sent me uh, the server and uh, it was $17 a month and uh, it was a share two gigabyte RAM and that is not gonna work because uh, to the traders you have to understand uh, if you want to put a proper server uh, first of all you want to make sure you have at least 16 gigabyte RAM uh, to run the auto trades and ninja trader require eight gigabyte rom empty so when you put a third company on and uh, and when you start overloading the charts you better have minimum uh, 16 uh, gigabyte um, i have a gentleman here um, I will not say all his name, but I will say his name, Ramesh. Uh, he is, um, he have a three server. He have a three licenses. He just purchased the third license today. And each server have 64 gigabyte RAM. The guy is a serious trader and uh, money is no problem. But for those guys is counting the pennies and uh, the cents and uh, and uh, trying to, to go on a low budget server uh, it will be cheaper to uh, run your home computer and um, at least you know your home computer is not going to be attacked by somebody can have an access to your server and uh, and then if you have a smart template or a smartphone <clears throat> you can use a team viewer and you can log into your screen and keep your eye on the trade because you have to keep your eye on the trades to see how things going in case if you got overfilled uh, in case the, the the server reboot itself or the computer reboot itself uh, Microsoft update and you forgot to turn off the button all those uh, the small things um, um, you have to be cautious you have to be uh, conservative you don't just uh, rent uh, 80 bucks server and um, and you start flying with it I mean we have many servers uh, as well each one of us is costing us between 300 and 500 dollars and I just bought a server for many thousand dollars uh, in Chicago as well so uh, it cost me a lot of money to 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 have a private uh, purchase a server and I have a three servers are rented out and each one of them between three and five hundred so uh, uh, this is very important to the uh, amateur traders that uh, you have to understand even if you have a server a proper server uh, you uh, you you still need uh, before you go live on a US market you need to uh, start on a demo on a sim account let the system run uh, for half an hour if you see this um, today the market is biting and making money for you go for it and switch you know i'm trying to find this is not a solution but i'm trying to find um, a solution for that guy doesn't want to learn you know and uh, he don't have time to learn for many reasons I can respect that I don't want to raise a grown man but um, at least he can do that he can um, um, uh, turn on any type of an auto trade on half an hour one hour and if he sees the market is um, um, is working with the, the strategy he's using whether it's ours or somebody else then go ahead and switch to live account and um, and for me uh, in my experience if you have five thousand dollar or uh, fifty thousand uh, dollar now for the last couple of years uh, for since the day when the micro account come out 
uh, I keep saying to my clients, start with a micro account for one week, get used to the rhythm, and uh, because when you start going live, you start learning a lot. Oh, you can see, let's say if you have two ES a micro account, two uh, NASDAQ micro account, two YM micro account, two. Uh, so after you trade uh, one week on a micro account, you learn a lot. You learn uh, your uh, limitation in any type of an auto trade. What is your limitation? Because every auto trade, uh, every mechanical trade has limitation when the market movement have an impact on your like yesterday if you go to our uh, video yesterday on a live trade on the other channel we had superb entry some of them i cannot even uh, do it manually the entries and every time the we had a perfect entry we go up to three four hundred dollars on a trade and then all of a sudden the market go back and knock us out of the trade and and uh because the the market is is like a tango dance, you know, it's going a couple of step forward, couple of step backward, couple of step forward, couple. and that it is hurt. Not even the auto trader, even the manual trader, they're gonna get hurt with it. So most of the time, if you cannot trade the market manually, uh, there is no money in the auto trade. That's what I have noticed. So if somebody knows how to trade manually, and they've been uh, many years uh, behind the trade. They can trade manually. I can trade on an empty chart. I have no problem. I can draw lines immediately on an empty chart. But even for a trained guy can trade manually, if he cannot find a trade today, the auto trade normally, they don't make money. They don't, you know. So I noticed that uh, for the last 10, 11 years, when I cannot find anything manually, I know without even looking at the auto trades, uh, they're not gonna be making money. Now, sometimes the auto trades take a trade. I will not take it manually, and it uh, will end up with $1,000 uh, uh, trade. But uh, also, I can sometimes spot uh, trades manually. The auto trade will not. So uh, this is a two-way. But in 2021, you don't need to do it manually anymore. But at least you have to be educated uh, to understand what is your limitation uh, in the auto trade it's not to just turn on lift off and uh, go to the moon with it you know so another thing so what we are trying to do i mean look this is a really a huge project to understand how the scalpers runs it is a huge uh, project to understand uh, any kind of auto trade you don't uh, just borrow auto trade and you you put it on and uh, we live happily after uh, this is a, another project uh, we are working on because we get up in the morning to trade the DAX. And, and what we are trying to do, we are trying uh, to test uh, the, the scalper at night for the Asian people. And we are, because it's a new auto trade, and we are trying to test it for the European people and I want to show you something. So what is the best way to test it is on the most uh, traded instruments like the ES and the NASDAQ. And uh, so I'm going to uh, take uh, the ES and the NASDAQ because uh, those are the most popular instruments to trade. I normally get up around that time uh, at six o'clock to to look at the DAX. I don't want to encourage anyone on the DAX if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, also, this is another, uh, uh, this is the same way, the scalper. And uh, you can see in the morning, bang, the first trade, which I I despise a uh, first losing trade when you get up in the morning. And I did, you know, welcome to trade and nothing we can do. But also we are testing the CL, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, and you can catch uh, some really serious trade from six o'clock Eastern time. Six o'clock Eastern time, and um, you can, um, it's, a, it's a very good time to trade the DAX in Frankfurt. And then, um, and then you can see it was taking uh, one trade, 
made a little money at seven o'clock usually we find out on the scalper around seven o'clock in the morning it is really good and then we got uh, the trade for today and um, this is what we've been waiting on and then it took that trade from 3803 all the way to the 3811 and don't forget this is a scalping gentlemen it's not a swing trading but it cuts a nice trend and then uh, we had a losing trade winning trade and winning trade so uh, this is what we are monitoring every morning when we are uh, doing the DAX. Uh, we are monitoring how this auto trade behave. And uh, it's not just uh, for the traders. It's for me to understand the limitation of that auto trade, how it handle itself in the stress market or in the trending market. It is very important uh, for the trader to be educated and to understand how any kind of auto trade behave around chop market, flat market, or a trended market, because this is your life dependent on it. It's not to just turn on, turn off, and live happily after. Now, if we look at the NASDAQ, it's the same story. Uh, took the first trade at 6 o'clock, a small trade, small trade, and then he catch a little one at 8 o'clock. And then he was done uh, those uh, before the right after the markets open and it uh, nailed 2160. So if we look at the NASDAQ doing the European hour, and if we look at the NASDAQ doing the a U.S. market session, you will see they are both success. If we look at the E.S. from early morning, it was a success E.S. and continue rally on on the on the on the afternoon or on the U.S. market. So this is really important to understand where is this limitation on that auto trade. As an example here. Uh, the scalper, there is not uh, much he can do or tweak the auto trade because on the uh, on the scalper uh, is only uh, turn on, turn off, set your uh, uh, set your uh, uh, stop loss and go for it. And if you don't want to set your trailing stop or your stop loss, you put it on zero and the auto trade will take it. So if a guy don't want to deal with the trailing stop and stop loss, he can put it on zero. For a guy don't know anything about trading, he can do that. But nevertheless, he still need to learn how to manage. He cannot avoid that. Uh, he needs to look at the market to see uh, how bad or how good it is the market today. Uh, so this one here on the CL was uh, three out of two made it and two out of five did not make it okay because there is a limitation here and that is a scalping now if we look at the uh, the ti7 which i'll bring the ti7 the ti7 have a 10 different entry and 10 different filters where you can set your own rules for the trading and once you start learning how to approach the market, then you can approach the market in any condition. And that is this the difference between that auto trade is a scalping. You cannot make 1000% every day like this gentleman today. Uh, on a micro account, he have an account $1,000 and he want to make 1,000 ES every day and uh, YM 1,000. And I simply, I said, look, move on, please. I don't have, I'm too old for that. So that is, there is a limitation uh, on the scalper, how much he can go with it. And, and uh, there is no room to mess with it, you know. Now, if somebody a little bit more experienced, he can put it on a range bar, on a tick chart. But my job is to show you the system on a minute because the minute tell the truth. Rank bar does not tell me the truth. 
using 188 ticks tomorrow 240 ticks that's mean there is no stability in the market uh, one day a range bar one day a line break one day a rank bar that's mean there is no stability in that auto trade period but when we use the same time frame in minutes that's mean what we see that's what we got whether you are on a sim or in a live trade plus minus one tick so I want to now show you the difference between the TI-7 and the scalper uh, before we do that uh, this is a, 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 a different type of an automated trade this is a signal automated trade and uh, on that one we are using a scalper and we are modifying as you see here got a new signal and immediately the auto trade took the new signal now on the blue chart is connected to this left upper corner on this uh, chart here the white chart is connected to this scalper signal as we see here uh, this is uh, the scalper signal uh, just fire the signal and uh, you can see and this is a lovely we are modifying it and uh, what uh, we are modifying it with on the re-entry and what is nice about it how we are uh, working on it we have one programmer working on this project and we have another one working on the zone project uh, we are also making uh, something new on the uh, on the fib lines automated trade so we have two programmers full-time uh, they are working on two different projects so we have one guy is working on that one what we are have done uh, now we are working on uh, always uh, it's been around for last 20 years we have seen so many system come and go as fast as they come as fast they go away what I have find out uh, for the last uh, 20 25 years uh, the only thing still working in this business is not an ATR not a MACD is uh, FIPS it is your bread and your butter Fibs, a good Fibs is not uh, from a used furniture store as uh, a real Fibs and um, and um, identify trend pullback re-entry has been around the block for over 20 years and has, has never run us out so now we are done with the scalpers we need to go to the more advanced traders so on this one here, what we have done right now, uh, we are going on the identify trend pullback re-entry. And then if the market switch on you, if the market switch trend on you, because sometimes it does like yesterday, then the immediately once the auto trade is spotted and across a certain FIPS, immediately will close position open position and chase the trend that the the the, the algorithm on the auto trades uh, in 2021 is nothing it's nothing near an atr and a macd it's like you are sitting in a red light with a pinto and uh, you have another guy has a ferrari and uh, you're gonna <laughs> you want to put your head with him you're not going to make it so in another word when you come in and waving your ATR on uh, in the market here and you are waving your uh, your MACD auto trade uh, those uh, indicators you glue a couple uh, and you put a trail and stop and you call it auto trade those are no longer functional and uh, those there you get beat uh, by those and uh, now this is what we are testing right now uh, as you see this is the last few second and uh, we are uh, going to um, you can nail and you can see there is a new signal here and uh, it fired immediately those swing trading and you are just need to manage it's no longer <clears throat> a trader needs uh, to use his head a lot he needs to be a manager uh, to control uh, the mechanical trade it's no longer 
needed to be uh, uh, I mean you have to understand how the market run there is no way out of it but you need to learn how to um, read the chart as an example here we hit the target reversal fired uh, reversal and target hit you're done with it so let's go on the ti7 it is more advanced auto trade now on this one here um, um, is a different approach uh, also you can use it for micro account you can use it for um, swing trading you can do scalping with it but uh, the difference between this one and the scalper the other one is a scalper and this one here we train you on that auto trade we have recorded webinars on that we uh, you can uh, you have an option you have 10 different entries with the 10 different filters and um, with the entries this there is already built in filters and uh, we use the latest technology that kind of auto trade you can if you know how to tweak that auto trade or if you you get more educated about the market uh, this kind of auto trade is uh, i mean the scalper it is for a guy just want to turn his brain off his right you know we cannot make everyone uh, use their brain I don't feel like when I use my brain so uh, this is uh, the customer right he doesn't want to learn and he doesn't want to turn on his brain but he has to understand his limitation you know so the scalper has limitation you cannot just say you know I don't have money I don't want to learn and I want to get rich it does not work this way the other one when the guy understand his limitation stay on a micro account for a week two weeks three weeks until he get to learn the rhythm on the es nasdaq down zones and he can take it from there on that auto trade it is a it's not a huge auto trade but it is a different approach to it where you can trade it at daytime evening overnight you can set up your risk reward you can filter it in a way can take one or two trades a day or you can unleash it to take as many trades as you want you can take one contract you can take four contract you can scalp the market with it you can swing trade the market with it and you can put it right in between and you set up your trade and that it is for an advanced trader there is no it's not fair to put everyone in one box so in 2021 uh, an hour package there is 10 different auto trade we only covered uh, only the iceberg out of it because we still have seven auto trade we cannot cover every single day I need 40 computers to to do that so there is another seven auto trades out there and uh, in, in, in your package so it's no longer um, you take a you know a screwdriver and uh, take an engine off you know you have to have your proper tools and um, and um, you know this has happened to me when um, uh, on my younger days when I was traveling and um, I had a BMW and um, I was in a foreign country and the guy uh, the BMW was rented it's not for me and uh, I was in a different country and we got uh, the car broke down and we stopped at the mechanic he have a just supplier and a screwdriver and he was taking losing all the nuts with a uh, I mean what you have at your home is much more than what he had and I was shaking my head and um, and um, and um, so um, and I knew he's not gonna do it so we we called the company and they brought somebody the second day to to get the car out and deliver it so what I'm saying here in, in this um, in this market here 
you cannot come in with one uh, screwdriver and unleash uh, an, an ATR auto trade and you're gonna get rich. Uh, you cannot do that. You know, uh, you need to. Um, if you understand the market, uh, you need to. Uh, the TI7 it is uh, recommended for the guy is in advance. He understand. It takes you two, three weeks to learn that auto trade. It takes you two, three weeks to know how to optimize this auto trade. It takes you two, three weeks to to learn every entry and filter because what it works on the ES might not work on the NASDAQ. What works on the NASDAQ might not. So there is something for everyone, you know. So on this TI-7, it is, um, it is for an advanced trader willing to work with the auto trade and he can cut it the way he wanted to be traded in the market and avoid also chop market uh, avoid um, flat market then the auto trade will not take a trade he can do that to this so this is, is a total different uh, uh, slack of trader than um, a guy just wanna scalp and and uh, of course his rewards are different than this rewards here so this one here is more professional uh, for the more uh, advanced traders are willing to tweak an auto trade and to learn that auto trade you cannot just turn it on and um, we live happily after we can provide filter for you here is the the biggest mistake traders think I can provide you working template on an ES and it works will make will be consistent but if we don't update this template after one month it's gonna fail out and this is a lot of traders don't understand that because uh, could be the ES next month is gonna be below the 50 days moving average it could be above the 50 days average so it's not uh, uh, we at the beginning we have provided template and for the new customer we will provide new templates but we are expecting him to update those templates we want to teach him how to update those templates how to swing trade how to scalp how to approach a, a flat market how to approach a chop market and you can cut that auto trade because have a big variety of entry can approach anything so it's like you know you have a, a small volkswagen to go around the city and you have a four-wheel drive can climb a mountain this one can climb mountains the scalper is for the internal city a small volkswagen you know so uh, or a mini cooper you know you cannot just compare those two auto trades together they are totally totally different algorithm and a total different approach to the market so so to cut the story short now i don't want to go through teaching anymore for today as an example here i don't care about the amount because today could be 2800 tomorrow could be something else this one here we have teach that template in the room and starts that template uh, around eight o'clock and uh, took one trade actually today and it hit 28.25 and as you notice it was beautiful gorgeous trade that this is the difference between an, uh, an amateur trader and and uh, it, it does not matter if it is 2800 or 200 dollars this is not concern me today it make 2800 could be tomorrow two bananas you know it's not the amount of money is important here because it has to make money or it don't have i mean it has to make money if the market is moving but if the market not moving it will not make money this is not the amount of money it is consistency the entry and to stay with the trend how the, the auto trade enter the market and how the auto trade exit the market this is what more and what i look at this chart as an example i'm not looking at the amount of money it could be tomorrow minus could be plus could be double the amount god knows what where we land tomorrow 
But the way it took the trade and close position, I can see I have not missed anything on that. We took the very bottom. We exit at the very top on the high high and and the rest has become irrelevant. We have not missed anything. All this, it was nothing but noises. And that it is beauty, is the entry and the exit. The money could be tomorrow something and tomorrow could be something else. So another thing I want to show you because today the NASDAQ, uh, the NASDAQ was moving as you see in the scalper, uh, the, the signal entry, and the TI7, all the NASDAQ, they are imaginary number. And the reason is, and this is a correction to this beginner, not because of the auto trade, not because of the scalper, not because of the TI7, and not because of the signal automated trade. No, it's not the auto trade. No, don't get it wrong here. And today, probably a lot of people will go ahead and do advertisement on the NASDAQ and show off with their auto trade. The reason is there is a lot of money on the NASDAQ today because the market was moving. It's not because of the auto trade. No, this is a wrong message to those amateur traders because the NASDAQ was moving from early morning when we were trading the, the DAX nonstop. The NASDAQ today was making money. Yesterday, the NASDAQ was losing money constantly all morning until 1.30 in the afternoon. The NASDAQ was nothing but losing trades. You have to understand the difference when somebody come and show off and run away and not explaining how he made this money or did not. So the reason today the NASDAQ has made money because of the market movement. It's not uh, we have uh, invented something that does not exist. This one here, it was a three minutes. And this one here is a three minutes, but you can, as I said, you can use a uh, uh, this one made 4,750, uh, and this one is the same auto trade, uh, made uh, 3,500. This one here has less slots, and it is uh, on a conservative mood. So, also you can see this one here, it is uh, beautiful from morning all the way till the evening. Uh, let's take the ES today as well. Uh, I don't care about uh, the amount, 2,200, but what uh, we caught from 8 o'clock, uh, you can start the TI. And uh, you can see uh, from 8 o'clock, and it did a wonderful job on 22.37.50. And uh, on the... Uh, DAX, uh, we only have one chart DAX. We don't have Renko bar, we don't have a, a tick chart, we don't have a line break, we only have one chart DAX. And uh, this is the one, my favorite one. I use two minutes or four minutes. Depends on uh, what you, what it does. Really, there is a trick you can see on the weekend. It's just the auto trade takes you five minutes. And you can... Uh, uh, evaluate if which uh, time frame you want to use next week it takes you five minutes i'm not going to go through the public with it but uh, my favorite time frame on the dax either two minutes or or four minutes and um, and uh, we only have one uh, chart that's more than enough for me if you have a consistency you don't need too many charts really uh, I'm not going to go through all of it, but uh, I want to go through NASDAQ four minutes. Look at this. NASDAQ four minutes did not make as much as the three minutes. Welcome to trading. Uh, 1,675, but this one here is a scalping mood. And NASDAQ one minute, 1,008. All of them, the ones above 1,000, they are on $1,000 target. Uh, ES, five minutes, 3,425. We still have a trace in here. 
the ea is four minutes 2600 but the five minutes 3400 does it but what we can do the three minute 1350 uh, the ES five minutes 2350 but also this one here this one here uh, I was trading uh, it was beautiful today uh, this one here uh, I closed the last one uh, manually on this one here this is the only one I closed manually on it and um, this one here is in the scalping mood uh, the Nasdaq on a three minute which I have it on the scalping mood and uh, and this is a TI7, but I'm scalping it. So you can scalp it, and you can see the trades are scalping. Uh, 1535, scalping mood, you know. Sometimes the scalping mood are very okay when the market is not moving. And uh, this is a scalping mood, uh, also the TI7. And you can see I'm scalping the market and a bit aggressive. But um, you can do aggressive or conservative, and it is 27.05. You can cut this uh, TI7 the way you want it. You can take one trade and get it over with and use a conservative. Look at those stop losses are very small. And when the market trend, one contract and you are done. You can cut it the way you want it, but uh, it's up to you how you want to cut it. It's up to you how much um, chances you want to take and how much risk you want to take. So on this one here, I'm, I'm cutting it to 10, uh, 10 takes a stop loss. And when the market is trend, I, I lose the trend stop. And... Um, it is a very good approach on any auto trade to to have a smaller uh, stop loss and turn loose on the trailing stop. Don't use those 10 ticks trailing stop and uh, 15 ticks trailing stop. Because if you are using 10 ticks and 15 ticks, you would have died on the way. And you are out of that good trade. And you should never get out of a good trade when the market is going to your direction. You have to stay in till the max so on this one here you can use 25 35 ticks a trailing stop and sometimes the market gonna turn around and knock you out of that trade welcome to trading you cannot have it both of way you cannot bake the cake and eat it in the same time so <clears throat> you can be smart with it take a small risk why we do that what it is, it is a very simple on that. You can um, you can flip coin with someone. Every time you lose, you give him $10. But every time you win, he has to give you $100. And you're going to flip this coin 10 times. So in other words, it takes you one or two winning trades to cover all your losing $10. This is the same thing strategy here. Uh, you keep closing the small trade when it goes against you and then once we the market start going to your direction you swallow the whole thing that's what it, what it is so it depends on on the people attitude and personality as well how you want to approach the market you can do that with the ti7 this one here is 1062 this one here is 575 because it's based on one contract and this one here, 1137, it is also based on um, one contract. I want to say thank you very much. We will be uh, going live tomorrow on the other channel. And you're very welcome uh, to uh, follow us on the other channel. And you will see the link below. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And see you tomorrow in the other room at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Bye for now.